Hello, I'm Max Balegde. I didn't like that one. I know, I sounded a bit weird. And I'm didn't George I? Clark, and <gasps> welcome to the useless hotline. TikTok wasn't working out for us, so we decided to set up our own little business. Yes, we did. And the useless hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, embarrassing, or disgusting they are. But it won't always just be us. <gasps> I know. Sometimes we'll be joined by guests. Maybe this week. No, not no. this week. Did you look at the thumbnail slash title of this podcast on Spotify slash Clearly Apple not. Podcast? If you're doing that, make sure to download, rate us, and subscribe. Right. <laughs> I think we both just done crack. Anyway, um, shall we get into it? Yes, do. Let's it. do it. So a lot's been going on. We saw each other just a measly four days ago. Was it? And our lives have been turned upside down. What's happened in your life, George Clarkey? I went um, to a graveyard. Get it out. Sorry, yes. I went to I went to a graveyard. Um, it wasn't. A, I meant get it out. It wasn't an upsetting. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, there you go. <laughs> um, it wasn't an up, upsetting experience. No. though. Um, not Par- because... Parents are dead, but yeah, other yeah. than that, it was a funeral. But yeah, it was, it was a good one. <laughs> Bouncy castle. No, there was. Um, it was. A, it oh, was I a graveyard. Uh, lots oh, of my graves. God. I. Have you been to a graveyard before? I used to. I didn't I realise s- how packed in they were. I used to. Not the bodies, obviously they're packed in. It, yeah. it helps with the. I burying. used to live next to a graveyard, and how sadistic is this? When I went through my Lana Del Rey phase, where I thought I was a misunderstood teen, yeah. I would walk my dogs in the dark at the graveyard every night, listening to Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Grave. Lana Del Dead. Oh. No, that didn't work as well, did it? Sorry, I just have to go back to something that you said. Bouncy okay. Castle at a funeral. Right. I kind of want that, but Giant Trampoline. Did you used to play that game where, like, Crap one egg. of you would... Ap- yes. What? Imagine that was just, just a dead put, body. Just put your, like, rigor mortis body in yeah. the middle of the... I don't know if that's... That is wild, and if it touches you, then you're out. Crack the granddad. Or, like, when you throw a bouquet behind your head at the wedding. But if instead... If the dead body touches you, you're going to die next. That's quite fun. What a fun little little game to play yeah. with your deceased relative. We'll consider it. But anyway, what were you doing in the, gar- the graveyard? graveyard. Um, well, they caught me doing something I shouldn't have been. Yeah. Um, but Eek. I was there to... Um, that made it sound like I was shagging a dead body, it didn't did. it? That wasn't the joke. It did. That wasn't the joke. No. You can't it was, shag it if it's not doing it back. It was a masturbation over the dead. Yeah. But um, either way, bad joke to make. Mm. Um, but anyway, but you had um, a great I time. was there with Netflix. Oh. Um, so that's why I wasn't Brand allowed drop. to... Um, is that a thing? Name drop. I mic know. drop, did you say? I said brand drop, but then I realised that the saying is name drop. Brand and drop. I should have just said that. Nice. Yeah. 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 Um, and to promote the new Lockwood & Co. I don't even need to name that, but you're welcome, Netflix. Lockwood um, & Co. Yeah, it's a new series. Oh. Um, they lock the wood up and, and co, obviously. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's, okay. that's exactly what it is. It's, yeah, uh, it's about cock sense. locking. Oh. Cock locking mechanism in the graveyard. Oh. No, it's oh a ghost there. hunting series. So I went there with... Um, a group of people called SPI, not an STI. Oh, although I, you would get that from uh, shagging you know, a dead body. Yeah, just mm. you know, getting busy with the dead. I mean, I don't know. People put the dick in the soil sometimes, and I imagine there's just as much bacteria going on down there. I in mean, Mother I Earth. didn't say that the only way to get bacteria on the peen is to shag a dead body. You, you could, you couldn't do that by giving a little mud pie. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to the graveyard. Um, <laughs> Some so yeah, I was there with a group of people called SPI. I didn't bother reading what that stood for. Spy. Um, <laughs> yes. Yes. They're a group of spies. Yes. <laughs> um, and they, they, it's their their profession is to hunt ghosts. Oh. Um, and it like tag rugby. Like, as in what? It's not a proper job, but it's almost. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. as, it, as in it's made so up. tag rugby enthusiasts. Oh. Would you say? As in it's like made up. Um, it's stupid. That's rude. I know. Sorry. As in, it's yet to be proven. Yes. Is how, Do you know what? That's what they kept saying. But yeah, religion. Was, religion is a thing. Correct. Uh, there we go. Um, Carry on. But I, uh, yeah, we. I was going around the, all these little instruments. Not a clarinet. Hmm. Little instruments that actually help you find ghosts. Oh. Um, Did you find any? No. Oh. I bet they were a bit embarrassed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, especially in a area so dense as a graveyard you'd think Ooh. you'd be it's like a housewarming party wouldn't yeah. you yeah you would think so you do you think remember somebody that app? would pick up wouldn't you Let's, do you remember that anyone app, out there sorry that app in lockdown house party that hacked everyone's bank details weird wasn't it yeah out of nowhere was it like that or hijacked or? by zoom no um oh. it was just just i mean it was just a graveyard mm. by the end wasn't it and mm. then 
where they, they they said, oh yeah, sorry, the gra- it doesn't really work in the graveyard. Let's hop in the catacombs. I oh. said, what? The catacombs? Yeah. I'm not going in the catacombs. No. I bloody was, oh. despite the fact that apparently there was um, a mold infestation. Ah. Oh. No. Uh, so mm. there was a lot of spores. At least there was some life down there. Yeah. You know, live bacteria, ladies and gentlemen. The spores. Anyway, I carry yeah. on the spory. Um, so to go down the stairs. <laughs> um, and yeah, oh I was God. just trying to chat to the dead. Oh. Uh, I mean, just just like you <laughs> on Hendry, really, isn't on the it? podcast <laughs> with Max. That's the joke. There we oh, go. Got there okay. in the end. Yeah. But, um, right. so. There you go. That was me. I went ghost hunting wow. and found no ghosts. Oh, gutted. Um, just like my expeditions on the dating platforms. <laughs> hey? <laughs> Date hunting, but no dates. <laughs> you... Just never stop, dear. You mesmerise me every day. I'm so lucky. What have you been up to, Max? Oh, do you know what? I thought you'd never ask, but here we are. Um, so I had quite a low key week. I started. We filmed yeah. the podcast episode. You're not a fan of Thor. Um, no, 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 not more of a low key week. More of a low key, yes. Yeah. Um, and then what did I get up to? Not too much. Oh, I did do a campaign with the government. Nice. At New Scotland Yard. Is it called New Scotland Yard? It is indeed. Uh-huh. Um, What's wrong with the old one? Yeah, I mean, I I, I, I visited the old one. Yeah. Um, and Run I said, down. this just won't do. And they said, we'll take him to the new one then. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you'll see it soon. It was a very intense thing. Um, I'm not getting paid for it before you all, before it comes out. I did something recently. Oh, I, I did... Um, I went up north with the Prince's Trust, which is obviously a well-known charity, mm-hmm. and like went to this amazing event that they put on, and then they were like, oh, Max, would you mind just doing a video saying like that you're here and like then people might be more likely to join the event and like join yeah. in and whatever. Did it, and then people, they post it in the comments, how much was he getting paid for this? These influencers getting taken around and getting paid by charities that people, I was like, I'm not getting paid. It's a charity, suck my dick! Whoa! Yeah! I mean, nobody was throwing shade over here, sister. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't don't be rude to my co-host. So yeah, when this like very, I I imagine will be very powerful and emotional campaign comes out. Don't be commenting how much was he getting paid for? Because I wasn't getting paid. Often I do things out of the goodness of my own heart. I was going to say often I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> often, often I get paid. I get paid shit loads. Large amounts of money. But look at this. You think I'm doing this for the money? I'm. No this, amount of money is worth this. This was my maker wish to do a podcast with it Max was, Pelexi. It was. Bless him. Bless him. Um, so, yeah, that was very wild. I got to learn lots of, like, not necessarily secrets, but a lot more knowledge about mm. terrorism. Not like I'm. Maybe we should. Well, put it this. wasn't a crash course on how to. <laughs> no, it was no, more no, of it a, wasn't. Against. Um, yeah. Stephen Tries did... That was a semester at his, in his um, comedy course, though, wasn't it? Oh, terrorism. Yes, how to. Well, you, you still, how you still, to make still it funny. of him, are you? Yes, That's I am. Cute. I just looked opposite and I thought, where's that little northern boy gone? Oh. I'm back here with um, Prince Harry's nephew. I When we, me and Stephen posted that video... Mm. Well, I posted it. He didn't post anything. No. Um, when what? I posted that video, everyone said that my Prince Harry was really good. It was really good. I listened to it. I, didn't, did I don't like remember it? it being that good in person. For the audio listeners, um, <laughs> Prince Harry isn't on the podcast. No, but he's this not. is what it would sound like if he was. Mm, come on, all right, no, okay, give then. me a little. So, Harry, where are we getting the ganja from this weekend? Well, Mummy always used to give me uh, the royal ganja, oh. um, and then she'd give me some weed. Oh, uh, oh, oh. weird joke to Yeah, make. that I was really weird. Really um, we'll actually. try one more. So, Harry, what's Megan like in bed? Um, well, uh, when she's in the bedroom, I like to call her Megan the Stallion <laughs> because of the size of the strap on that she wears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh Do my another god. one. I like this. It's she fun. also kicks like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, one more. Um, Megan. I mean, what? Harry. <laughs> Harry, now that you've um, ditched the British high life for the American suburban life, what do you get up to day to day? Uh, well, mostly I play tiddlywinks and think of my children. I don't know. Oh my <laughs> God, he doesn't have, ch- does have children. Child. Child. 
Think of my or child. That's 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 a fun activity. Just playing tiddlywinks. Thinking you of are children. good at impressions. I used to be quite. Good. I can, can, I, can I hear your? Harry? I don't. I don't really know what your fucking sounds like. Yes, mother was a great woman. Now she's dead. You, you're just being more yeah, quiet. Yeah, I am. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I, I can't do that. I can do. <clears throat> oh no, that's. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, you're gonna do something that was probably culturally in a f- no offensive. it was this tv show that i used to love called Takeshi's face castle jacket. No. i've told you max you can't do that impression on the podcast no face jacket. Times, george can i do Takeshi's castle this week no max you can't right so have you ever watched face jacker <laughs> <laughs> no the impression that i'm really good at is a character that he does okay. who's called brian badondi and I used to do it everywhere and there's actually a video of me in Bristol visiting my sister who went to uni in Bristol in like the town centre and I was outside I was I would have been what 10 years old mm. and I was outside no I wasn't I was like 12 um, stupid <laughs> ruined the story man. idiot um, and I was Don't outside of a Brazilian blow dry place, and oh, I was right. doing it. And I was like, "Brian Bradondi's Brazilian blow dry," and I accidentally said "Brazilian blow job" in front of my family, and I nearly cried because I was so embarrassed. Because at that oh. age, the idea of your family like discussing a blow job is the nightmare. Um, well, and now it's lovely. And now, I mean, it's just a regular Tuesday night, really. Um, go around sucking each other off. Get off. Get off it. Disgusting Get it out of your move. Just I should have kept my move closed. Have you ever heard that? Chloe Ferry, Joan Shaw. She goes, I should have kept my move closed. I quote it all the time. I love it. Yeah, you should probably cut it um, yeah. with a better accent next yeah, time. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah, so I, I went to New Scotland Yard and it was really, really a weird day. Got to see lots of cool stuff. Nice. Met the Prime Minister, gave him a quick slap. Um, a Rishi Sue slap. A Rishi Sue slap. I did. Mm. Not to be confused with an Ekinsu tap. What? I don't know. Rishi Sue Ekinsu, it sounded. Um, I should probably keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. You, are you, I don't are either. You, you, you've I turned think, into a soundboard. I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, other than that, we did something very exciting for our podcast this week. Was that last week? It was this week. It was this week. We secured something that's very exciting. We can't. We won't tell you what it the is. The bag. Yet. <laughs> hey. Um, uh. We won't tell you what it is yet, but expect some fun things happening. More, more of us, if you can even imagine it. Oh, and it, oh. Uh, boring. Oh, oh. Jesus, influences. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Look forward to this thing. We're not going to tell you about. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm really excited to say it and. Just know that if you are a fan of this podcast, then you should maybe follow us both on our Instagram as well. If you haven't already, personally, fuck you. But if you do, keep an eye out um, so that you can be the first to secure said opportunity if it arises in the near future. If you're thirsty for more. Speaking of thirsty, (gasps) would you like a bevy? That was very good. Yes, please. I would. I'm very good. For the audio listeners, I just slid my cup along the table. I feel like we've neglected the audio listeners in the last two episodes a little bit. In what way? Well, when Chloe was on, we probably didn't do it that much. And when Stephen was on, I think that we were all just very drunk. Um, We've used a lot of Malibu recently. Do you want some gin? No, I can't hack gin. I will have vodka, please. That's rubbish. (laughs) (laughs) Oh... For the audio listeners, George is reaching into the cabinet. That is a big um, old bottle of vodka. It is. It's a big old bottle of vodka. So in the state of that vodka, oh, if I drink Matt. it, I'm going to feel pretty shoddy. Oh, I may be jolly. Um, yeah. More shod. Oh, more, more of a bit of a shod, really. For the audio listeners, George is currently pouring the vodka into the mug. How are you feeling today, audio listeners, by the way? If you are on public transport, I encourage you to give us a smile. Go on. I can see you're not doing it. You're not a door, yeah? guys. That's right. Give us a big <laughs> smile. Look, at, smile. Look at you. You're a reflection of yourself. <laughs> you're What's enjoying it, aren't you? In windows on the tube. Just to look out at your friends when they've got off a stop and you go, woo. Or I once was embarrassing Andrew on the tube. And sorry, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cola, lemonade, or. Lemonade, please. The little In fact, grapefruit. Orange grapefruity yeah. thing. I think we're both a fan of that one, aren't I we? I think we are. Um, I was embarrassing. I love. Was. 
Oh. Yes, thank you. Um, I love to embarrass people on the tube because in that moment you can't do anything. They're stuck. So I would go, I used to go on it with my sister and I'd be like, oh, did you sort that infection out? Did it stop oozing? I was like, it's quite rare to get an internal infection that leaks out of your vagina, wow. etc. cetera. But um, I did this thing with Andrew on the tube where I just kept going like this. Watch, I go, honk. And squeeze my tits. So we'd be stood there and I'd be like, um, Andrew, well, honk. And I just kept doing it. So then I used the window when I got off and he stayed on. I ran up to the window and went like this and was like looking at him and pointing at him. And I was like, honk through the window. Well, um, then it was just you trapped on the. No, he was trapped on the tube, but I left. But I used the window oh. to my advantage. Nice. Yeah. I like it. That's why the windows are there. Yeah. See? So you can sense. honk at your boyfriend. Absolutely. Um, the audio listener. Can you just let the audio listeners what you're doing know what you just did? Um, I handed Max the mug. Thank you, George. Thank you. There I just you like go. them to feel involved. I love our audio listeners. Um, they're keeping us in the charts. Thank you, audio listeners. Keep doing it good. Keep subscribing, following. That. <gasps> is it nice? It is on the verge of medicine. No, it really is. Oh, audio listeners, I'm so sorry. We just took a sip of our drink. It, what? it is a it, bit cough medicine, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like cough medicine. It doesn't. Cavalia. What? Cavonia cough medicine. That's what they, the oh. slogan that they do in the advert. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, should we get on to our first dilemma? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. One's just come through for me. For the audio listeners, I'm just Stop with typing the bloody audio on listeners. my keyboard Jesus to make sure Christ. that it audio... Li- for those of you who have only ever listened for through audio, by the way, um, you might not know that we have a working printer in the office and yep. every time the we printer... We pay a minimum wage. Yeah, we do. He slide. tries his best though, draws it as quick as he can. Mm. Right. Oh, fuck me, George. That is awful. Okay. <laughs> Not the first time I've heard that. For the audio listeners, I just choked on his cock. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. God, I didn't Would like that. Would be accurate, though. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Bloody hell. Hi, Max and George. Love your content. Oh, oh clearly oh, mentally oh, ill. Yeah, he's a lie. Yeah. So today I got news that my best friend's been telling my entire college that I let my dog eat me out. <laughs> <laughs> hate it when that happens oh we've all been there a video was spread around of a girl letting a dog eat her pussy out and my best Ooh. friend has been telling my entire college that it was me who made that video oh my god i'm pretty sure she's doing this because of the fact her ex-boyfriend was flirting with me last week i'm not sure what to do next as i don't want to lose my best friend but i also don't want people to think that i'd let a dog eat me out well lots of love sarah nine i'm hoping that that doesn't mean that she's nine years old and that it's a typo um tell you what i'm feeling some typo way about this yeah that is a horrible rumour. And what's worse is that people could believe it. I want to know. Not an I, be- I believe it, but in, in order to send a, di- uh, send a dilemma in, yeah. you'd ha- there'd have to be some form of belief mm. on other people's part. I mean... You have to question yourself at that point. If somebody believes that you're letting your dog... What sort of person are you? Chase your cat, then you're... Oh. Ooh, you know? You're letting your dog eat your cat. Disgusting. I want to know front or back. What? Where were they eating her out? What, the back? <laughs> I just wanted to the, say it because I knew it would be upsetting. The bussy? <laughs> Don't bring up the bussy. Oh, my God. Was it your pussy or your bussy? That's all I'm saying. Big difference. P or B? Or I J. think... Little peanut butter and jelly. There was a boy in my Pork school jelly. who allegedly, I never saw the video, sent a video of himself putting whipped cream on his ass and getting his dog to lick it out and sent it to his mates. Mm, sorry, I feel like I've clocked off too early on this conversation. Would you like me to repeat? Dog, boy, ass, cream, lick, send video. I don't like the way that you Dog, worded that. Dog, boy, ass, cream, lick, send video. That could be a hit. That could be a hit. <laughs> In I like jail. It. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so um, I don't know what he did. I think maybe sexism was at play because everyone just thought it was a laugh when he did it. Whereas I imagine if it was a girl getting her pussy munched, ooh, wish I didn't say that. Getting her cat eaten, nah. Mm. Getting her box licked out, ooh. 
getting a bit of catnip. Oh, that's better. Um, then it? why is it an issue? So I actually think you should, Sarah, embrace this. This is an act of feminism. Yes, my dog was licking my puss. But the shoot, but it wasn't though. Act of feminism beats the truth. Take a stand. Why was that boy? I believe his name was Oliver. I, what, from like... my school, allowed to get away with that and not be ridiculed, <coughs> and in fact be praised. Sorry, <clears throat> I'm getting emotional. Wow. And Sarah is having her life feminism. ruined. Yeah, that's, that's not okay. What well, is like? So you think they should treat it like that scene in Sex Education where they say, "Yes, my vagina." Absolutely. It's my vagina. 100%. Bit of a weird clip out of context, that one, isn't it? I want them to play... My vagina! (laughs) No, thank you. I want them to play the video in an assembly. And you're going to orchestrate this, Sarah. It's not... The teachers aren't going to know. They're going to be doing the morning announcements and then it's going to cut to... Your school system has been hacked. Everybody watch now. Pussy eating dog cat. Let me repeat. What? I, Dog I'm, eating I have pussy. No idea what's happening now. Dog eating vagina. Sarah's gonna go. It's me. Full lights. Spotlight on Sarah. Spotlight on Sarah. <laughs> How have you turn this into music? The orchestra rises. Bum, 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 bum. I let my dog eat my pussy out. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Sarah vanishes in smoke. The crowd goes wild. Where is she? She emerges into the stage. She's centre. All the teachers bow down. She's sent to prison. Sounds by the sounds of it. Well, all the teachers bow down. This is a flash mob. Every person who owns a dog brings them in. Come on in. Come on. That is absolutely (laughs) gross. What? I think that that's so you, the only plausible. So let me get this. Let me get this straight. Mm. Uh, let me get this. Sorry, I'll, just, yeah. I'll try and speak please. in a way that you understand. Yeah, thank you. Um, please. Let me get this correct. Mm. Um, <coughs> I don't know much about that one. Either, really. <coughs> um, <coughs> so you think? Yeah. <coughs> if somebody spreads a rumor mm-hmm. about you spreading your mm. um, <coughs> no little rumor um, about a dog eating your genitalia, mm-hmm. <coughs> your response would be to set up a musical in this school assembly where a lot of dogs come in and eat your genitalia. I'd say think of it less of a musical number and more so an immersive experience. For everybody who is willing, an open mind, open heart, and coincidentally open legs, um, and, open and willing to... to jail time. Yeah, That's... willing to participate, should just feel as though they can get involved as well. I think that this is verging on a political movement. And Sarah, if you're out there watching, you, just one lick at a time, can change the world. Can you hear the phone ring here? Oh, bloody hell. Do you want to get it? Christ. Yeah. You made it sound like an end of like a comic relief bit mm. when you're actually just talking about a dog eating a poom poom. Quite emotional, actually. <clears throat> Hello, George and Max. Hi. I was listening to your lovely podcast in oh. my AirPods while I was making uh, my breakfast. Oh, okay. And once I had finished making it, I sat down at the kitchen table and opened my laptop to watch something on it. Mm. But because my laptop is a HP, my AirPods connected directly to yes, my laptop, meaning that my phone played a few seconds of um, your podcast out loud. I can't mm. remember exactly what was said, but um, I remember something about deep-throating George's father. Sorry, George. <laughs> and most unfortunately for me, my mother was also in the kitchen at the same time and um, definitely heard everything. Oh, so, I, needless to say, I went upstairs quickly after I ate my breakfast. And um, I guess my question to you is, how do I go about having that conversation with her? Anyway, bye. Firstly, don't worry about the conversation you have to have with your parents. Imagine, <laughs> imagine, my, my dad and my mum watch mm-hmm. this podcast every week. Hi. Text me back. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'd say, don't worry about your mum hearing somebody talk about sucking off George's dad, because she's probably already done it herself. What? Not sucked off your dad, but sucked off. She knows that dads get sucked off at the end of the day. How do you think she was made? Not through a blowjob. You never know. You never know. Science is crazy. 
I'm not crazy enough to impregnate you via the mouth. Have you ever tried it? No. Case so in point. So you think I should just... Try it. You think I should just suck on so many cocks until I get pregnant? Yep. Mm-hmm. That seems a valid way to yeah, get our life. the only logical um, explanation, really. I think, don't be ashamed. There is nothing that we say on here that is strange, that is something that, first of all, your mum's not already doing. <laughs> it's just... Let's just put it out there. Your mum's busting it open every week. There's nothing that we weekend. say on this podcast that her mum's not already doing. Well, perhaps um, she goes to the school in which Can Sarah just, does, and therefore yeah, she'll be say, part of the musical your experience. Musical number. That's yeah. Um, I think we have a con. We have a misconception. Sorry, um, conception is what your mother did via blowjob. Um, we have a misconception which in society that our parents are these like innocent people that don't get up too much and oh god my mum my mum saw me wanking off my mum saw me getting my dog to lick me out my mum this oh mum dad that oh let's break down those barriers we're all just people sexual erotic attractive most of the time people <laughs> I, let's just I, uh, actively <laughs> hate you <laughs> <laughs> and let's just break down those barriers and share the love. What, so, what sort of TED talk do you think you're going on right now? I don't know. I don't think I'm going on anything, George. I think I'm actually providing. Yeah, you're going for the off. People. Yeah. On one. Oh. Well, yeah. Um, so that's my advice. What's yours then? If you think you're so smart. Um, just say it was a dumb podcast. Don't worry about it. <laughs> wow. I thought that probably would suffice. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Yeek. Rather than divulging every bit of sexual info about your parents with your parents. Well, what you could do, oh, this is gonna go if well, you it? feel as though she's going to ridicule you in some way, next time she's making whoppy with your dad. Making, sorry, what? Watch. Making whoppy, did you say? Making whoppy. I've always heard making whoppy. That too. I don't discriminate. Even, even making Whoopi. I love Whoopi okay. Goldberg. Anyway, um, I think watch, take notes of oh, their so errors and ways in which they embarrass themselves, and bring it up if she brings that up. We'll give a brief statistical analysis on their performance in the bedroom. Never let anybody make you feel less than, even if it's your own mother. Punch her square in the jaw. Too far. Your mum's probably nice. You think the punch was too far? Yeah. Should we move on? Yes, please. Okay. Well, I think you've got one coming I through do. to your computer. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a joy. I love our job. Do you know what I, I love this office. Then? What, sorry? I typed in Max sucks cock. Oh, oh, all right. You know my password. <laughs> oh, God. For the audio listeners, I just had a sip of my drink. It was very nice, actually. It tastes a bit less medicine-y with every one. Nice. There you go, George. Do you still remember how to read? That's very <coughs> ironic coming from you. Thank you. My Hacks and George... Oh, no. <sighs> hey? <laughs> Good fan. Hi, Max and George. I was recently messaging a guy that I really fancied, and things were going really well. It was clear it... <clears throat> mm. It was clear he was into me, oh. and I was into him. Uh. After probably about three days of messaging on Instagram, he asked my Snapchat, Ooh. either 12 or a pedophile. Oh. Um, we were talking on Snapchat for one day. Honestly, they were super boring snaps, like just his wall. Oh. Uh, until about nine-ish at night. Mm. We exchange a few full full face snaps. Oh, oh bloody hell. Full exposure. Mm. And suddenly I get a snap of him in a full-length mirror in his pants with a boner. Ah. So many questions. Why did he have a boner? Yeah. Why did he feel the need to show me? Yeah. What did he want me to do with the knowledge that he had a boner? Oh, why is George... Why is George's dad Snapchat? <laughs> oh, sorry, I couldn't get it out. Just like... Never mind, Shut carry up. on. Making things worse, I've got to see him like six days a week. Please help. What do I do? Is Lots he a of teacher? Love. Big... Big? Lots of love, dick pick Diane. Well, I am dying to answer this one. <laughs> that was really good. Um, okay. What what advice do we have for this person then? Well, what do you do? I just block him. 
If have you ever been sent unsolicited nudes? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> What's I gonna say? Recently, so my boyfriend Andrew, as you know, has just started to like try social media harder. Ooh, that means, hell, that's yeah, what he means by harder. You know what that means. You're not allowed to get a boner in your TikTok. Um, so he started to post reels Despite for the first active. time. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> he started to post reels for the first time on Instagram. Up oh. until then, he just posted grid like pics. Yeah. And posted one of us where he put his arm around me. I didn't know that he was filming. Then I joked and pretended. And then I was like, oh, like pretended to suck him off as a joke. This circulated around the internet in ways that we could not have conceived. For example, it went, did a couple like million views on TikTok. Right. And then we found out that we were in subreddit posts about like bros that like to like suck each other off. And like people were wanking over us doing that. Then it what, got... You weren't nude, were you? Not fully clothed. Um, but it, it, it kind of... I, I think people thought that we were two straight bros, like, joking about the thought of sucking each other off. So they, they must have found that attractive when we got put that on, like, straight bros, like, straight bros wanking nice. thread. Stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And then the reel started to do the rounds, and we got, like, every Tom, Dick, and Harry who's over 50, probably married to a woman but wants to be with a man, commenting on it. Handsome boys, looking good. And now Andrew's message requests are flooded with unsolicited... Unsolicited... Wow. Unsolicited dick pics and the occasional ejaculation pic, where they show... What, they take a pic mid ejaculation. No, they show where the ejaculate has landed in a picture oh any, yeah any rogue places that you've seen so far on like paper, just um, paper yeah just like people saying that they are wanking over us which if you watch the video well, it's they not have, a lot going on do you have any captions with it just like You're my type hard day at work oh yeah. no um yeah just just wanking pics really oh. bit intense and people should stop doing it to be honest with you so i know how this person feels yeah, um, how long? How many? Day, about three days on Instagram, talking on Snapchat, um, and then I've got to say, what? So like four days after meeting the guy online, cutting his cock out, he's just sent you a picture of his cock, mm. just out of the extreme, blue, isn't it? Have you ever sent a dick pic? No. You've never done it. I've no. sent so many dick pics. Why would you send a dick pic online, Why would I Max? send a dick I'm shocked that I've got to a point in my life where my nudes have not surfaced. I saw some... Because I used to send my nudes out willy-nilly to people. You would keep raising this point on your on the podcast, and not the one in your trousers, <laughs> um, about how you're surprised... You're just willing people to... Well, this was before I had any followers. Like, I met Andrew when I had, like, 400k, but even then I, I didn't think I had a lot of followers. And I would, like, message oh, people... King. Um, I'd like message people on Grinder like with a profile that has my face on and just send and I've even googled to see because I've been like oh my god now like people would if they had them post them on the internet and there was like this subreddit of like TikTokers nudes and stuff mm. and there's this well they, they think that it's me but it's not me but oh. it looks good so I'm kind of like may as well just like <laughs> pretend that it's me like there was a whole feed on it and it's obvious that like somebody's using the whole using feed on the Ooh. Not like a, a, re a Reddit sort uh, of like, like thread. A... No. no. Um, and they were like saying that I'm still on Grinder now. I cheat on my boyfriend. And like, here's proof. Here's pics. And they're very much not me. But all these people think that it's me. And I'm like, do you know what? We'll let them. Mm. There was one of like a banging ass. And I was like, that could be mine. One of a big dick. And one with Ooh, someone who epic. has like a good body. And I was like, well, that's oh wow! None of I've got none of That's the above. Where we draw the line. Yeah, Go my on. ass inverts. I've got a little nub, and um, I'm gaining weight at a rapid speed. Wow! Was, yeah. like, was that your Tinder bio? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it was. It's actually my Instagram bio now. Um, any brands out there? Message my manager. Okay, not me. Any I, I nub deals. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I think just just say hey, I don't like this. Block mention that it's not okay and maybe they yeah. will not do it to somebody else Say, no thank you didn't ask for that yeah Bo no mm. no no ah thank you say if I wanted a dick signy I'd go down to Subway and order one wow yeah get a foot long mm. I want that erection gone yeah so I guess that's all. oh the phone the phone oh yeah nice 
Thank the you. audio listeners, I just twatted the phone repeatedly. Hi, George and Max. My name's Tatiana, and I'm an aspiring author. Oh. I'm like three-fourths of the way done oh, with my first point. novel, but I sometimes find it hard to stay motivated when my family keeps telling me to be more realistic and keep going to college for a more stable career. Yeah, you should. How did you guys manage to stay motivated in sticking with non-traditional careers? Hmm. Do you have any tips for believing in yourself when it's hard to? Much love to you both, and thank you in advance. I would say get shitloads of followers and tell them all to get fucked. But if that doesn't work, then maybe just believe in yourself. Yeah, that's mm. that'll pay the rent. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, um, what what is the best? I I I feel like um, <clears throat> if you're an aspiring author, um, you live with an author, don't you? Arthur. Arthur. Sorry. Mm. Sorry. Arthur Hill. Yeah. What did he do? Disco. <laughs> Stream it now yeah. on all streaming platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, what did he do? Yeah. Well, what he was just an author. He was he was made an author at birth. Ah, uh, okay. Well, yes, he yeah. was author. Nepotism. Author. Yeah. Um, um, his parents are whatever language that is Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, how would, how would I how would you go about it? I think you just treat it as a hobby. Um, until as something big like happens. Just, just, as, just as we did. It's yeah. just a little bit of fun. Do man. it because you enjoy it. And yeah. if you go in after it for the sole purpose of making money, then that might come it. across and things won't come to you as easily. Yes. I think I can tell now, looking at certain content creators who were maybe like coming up, who instantly are like just grabbing for the money and trying to like brand themselves like that. Grab, grab, grab. grab what and is this? The million pound drop live? No, mate. It's <laughs> TikTok. Shop. No, just don't like do the that. amount of time that you have left on the app. Oh. If you treat it that way, yes, I think TikTok that TikTok people it becomes incredibly transparent to your audience that you only care about money. Mm. If that's all that you do, say if you're only posting like random brand deals all the time, or if they, I like, I don't know about you, I turn a lot of things down nowadays because I'm oh, like women all the time. <laughs> but I think it's long term better to make maybe less money, but do things that fit you more as yeah. opposed to just going for the bag i don't know how this applies to this author i would say um, <laughs> um uh, authorly sorrel or oh, f- i would have <laughs> killed myself that was such that was all i always i always did that then i always always you always did a good did. joke yeah authorly really sorry good. was going to be the mm, but awful 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 yeah. bloody hell if only i did have a speech impediment <laughs> oh, um bless. I would say go for a normal job. Mm-hmm. Just stop. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> make sure I'd say oh my God. make sure you earn enough money to Survive. live slash get by yeah. in a job that you don't hate the guts out of. Yeah. Um, or something maybe authorly inclined, like kids book reader i don't know um like those people in talk shows that hold up the signs telling the audience when to clap you could be the person that writes those signs not quite like an author um Mm. you could yeah just work in the in the book world or in the movie world or something yeah if if possible this is a hell of a (laughs) stringy i feel as though we're not equipped to give you advice i'm just going to put that out there neither of us are authors and neither of us set out on a creative career purposefully so what i can say is my parents were very hesitant to allow me to do things like drop out of uni and do this full time Mm -hmm. no and i just basically said to my mom um, get that cock out your mouth no what I said to my mum is what? this is something that can have a long term career if you play your cards right and sometimes you've got to take a risk express to your Good parents that game. this is what you want to do is risk a card game? I don't think it is I think that's what you're at at risk nice mm, that was a fucking banger that one wasn't it <laughs> what a joke what a joke comment you're down right. below if you like that joke <laughs> Um, I subscribe for more jokes. I would say just have Do a job. It. Have a job to get you by. If it's one you enjoy, preferable. If mm-hmm. it's one that's author inclined, preferable. But um, keep the author on the back burner, not um, to a point where you forget about it. But mm. forget about it. Um, and then just also maybe you're a bad author. Just putting that out there. Well, maybe you're not supposed to be doing maybe this. Maybe you're awful. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you <laughs> are. 
Like, if you've been trying it for this long that your parents are getting annoyed and you've yeah. still not made it somewhere, then maybe that's the universe telling you to give up. Sometimes it's okay to give up and live a mundane life. Exactly. Get a partner, get a husband, get a wife. I don't know which way you are sexually inclined. Have children that you hate. Get a job that you despise and live a miserable, grey life. Couldn't agree more. Start a new chapter. Yes. Author. <laughs> Full circle. There you there go. go. Oh. I've just had one come in. Have you? An author? Yeah, I know. Well, look for a job, probably. Yeah, I know, mental. Look at us. Not a real job, author. Nice. There we go. For the audio listeners, um, I've got... For the audio listeners, bonus. Max's hair looks shit today. Yeah, it does. It actually does. I need it cut in. I do. I'll, oh. have to, I'll admit it. I will. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. Oh, is that the first that printer jam do. of the oh. season? It is. Oh, it's out of... audio listeners what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, for the audio listeners, yeah, Max is loading into paper. And also for the audio listeners, that wasn't a, a random little New Yorker that came in. That was me, George Clark. For the audio listeners, I don't know how to put in the paper. Hey, I'm printing here. How out of touch is Max? I hope that's not even shot, is it? Max just lifted up the photocopy section of the printer in order to try and load the paper. Unless you want to make some copies of some already printed paper, mate. No can do. Hey, I'm printing here. I'm not entirely sure that I've done that correctly, but I feel as though I've done something. You've, which yeah, is you've, a start. You've popped it in. Let's see. That's Max's impression of a reversing lorry. I finished my PlayStation game, Ratchet and Clank, and now Did my you? life is eternally Hogwarts sad. Hogwarts Legacy, you get it? New, new Hogwarts oh, game. Oh, yeah. I've got it on pre order, it's coming. Ooh. I just came. Anyway. <clears throat> Hi, Max and George. Big fan. Love the podcast and you guys so much. Really oh, is. bless. Nice. Um, mentally ill, bless them. So <laughs> this weekend, I went on my first holiday with my boyfriend of four months to celebrate his birthday. And on our first night, I saw a Tinder notification on his phone. He reassured mm. me that it was just a spam from the app trying to get him to reactivate his account. Mention but me. why would he still have the app on his phone? He has his phone set so you can't see what his notifications say. And after I saw it, he started to put his phone in the bedside drawer where I could no longer see the screen. I wouldn't be so skeptical about it. But throughout our relationship, he has never let me see his phone or go on his phone, which I respect. But it has started to set off some red flags in my head. Ooh. Wow. I've never thought Sorry, about left. it too much until now, and I realise how strange it actually was. Any advice is much appreciated, especially with your both successful loves lives. That seemed like a shot at me, that did. That was rude. Yeah. Um, uh, much love, view entire message. I think that that is not supposed to be on the page. Anyway, I think <laughs> that your boyfriend's cheating on you. Um, whoa, whoa! What? Just put it out there. Hell of a just put it to out draw, there. Max. There's no reason for Tinder to be notifying him of anything, especially if you've been together yeah. as in official for four months. Weird. Delete it. That's that's like, is it? What, what? Whose tagline is that? Made to be deleted. Is that Hinge? Hinge. Yeah. Hinge. They, that's the aim of the app, mate. Yeah. Just delete it. That must be so f like. Imagine you find someone on a dating app and you're like, I can delete this. That 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 would be like the thing that you do, and you'd be like, oh. That's what Praise me and Andrew did. The Lord. Yeah. I did know you, you did. Did you, you meet you on know. Hinge? Yeah, we did. Oh. Yeah. We did a cute. full Hinge campaign that said that. And it's definitely not fake. No, I'm joking. We actually and did. It's definitely not fake. <laughs> no, we actually did. We met on Hinge. Um, and we did not send dick pics beforehand. So it oh. was a bit of a risk. What about meeting. Minge pics? Minge on the Hinge? Did do a bit of a minge. Nice. Um, I think that's another one of the slogans. Um, hinge. If you're here for the minge. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what I will say <laughs> is. Who's cheating on Tinder as well? Your boyfriend's a fucking idiot. I'm just putting that out there because Tinder is quite possibly one of the least discreet dating apps that you can have out there. Mm. Is he a public figure? If not, somebody's going to see his profile and it's very obvious that he's not. someone's not catfishing as him. Your boyfriend is number one, dumb as fuck. Ooh. Number two, cheating on you. Ooh. Number three, in my DMs. Ooh. So um, tell him to Tables message me back, please. Yeah. Um, 
if what he says about it being a notification about them oh restart your account mm. first of all bullshit yeah uh, uh then I'm watching w- 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 just show them surely yeah prove it prove it get it out get Whip it, it out. out do you know oh my god there's this club in London called Heaven. You've never been to it, have whip you? It but you've heard club. about it. Do you have to whip it out when you're there? Every Thursday, they do something called Poor and Idol, Ooh. where they get people off the street to come and strip off naked for the chance to win a thousand pounds. People off the street, as in just like just people that are walking outside. Com- like, they go like, "Do you want to win a thousand pounds? You come in, you get free drinks all night, oh. and then you strip on stage." I mean, the homeless population. Of no, London. no, no. Bear in mind that this is a huge stage with like about a couple thousand people probably watching. But freedom. No, heaven. Oh. You've not been. Oh, not been to heaven. No, you've not. So shut your fucking mouth. A couple thousand people. <laughs> um, and <laughs> they get their clothes off. But a lot of them are probably unsuspecting tourists that don't realise what they're signing up for. Yeah. And if you do not get your cock out, like to oh, the I thing. You, I thought this was a break from the story. No, no, no. <laughs> if you do not get your cock out. Right now. Um, no, they go, they, they stop the song. Right. They have a panel of judges judging you, by the way, who at the end of it p- put up signs like three out of ten, your cock small, stuff like that. Sorry? Yeah. And if you don't get it, get your, take your underwear off, they stop the music and make the crowd chant, take them off, take them off. So imagine. What is like, this? Julius, who is visiting from Julius. Barcelona, and oh. has come to London. He's like, oh, I'll try this gay club. It sounds fun. Oh, they said that I can win a thousand pounds when I come in. Oh, they're giving me free drinks. Suddenly he's on stage. He's picked out a song, Britney Spears' Womanizer. He's not got a clue. He's not womanizing nobody. He is now naked in front of a crowd of people. Career prospects down the hill. Humiliation up the hill. It's awful. I nearly did it once. But my boyfriend at the time said to me, watch it. And then if you still want to do it, that's on you. But I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I'd never seen it before. Terrify you. That is There's so much about that club that I disagree with. The fucking owner, don't even get me started. Heaven? Like, the stuff... uh, more like hell. Oh, my God. The stuff I've heard Not about... Not because of the population in there. <laughs> because of what they get up to. Not yeah. in terms <gasps> of in the bedroom. Wow, homophobia. In terms of in heaven. Not in terms oh. of with each other. No, oh. I'm joking. This is... Um... <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think that that's pretty sound advice. Pretty sound. Yeah. Um, um, oh, last one. Phone call. Ringy dingy dingy. Yeah. Do you want to pick it up? Let's open this thingy. Last of the day. Hey, so last year I was on a ski trip with my class and I had sex with my boyfriend in one of the cabins. Slide. There were about 15 other people in the cabin, but we thought they were all asleep. Mm. Then I came to find out that my teacher was in the cabin as well and he had heard us. Oh Since then, he has been threatening to get the school involved and tell my parents unless I give him my best friend's phone number. I'm worried that he is trying to make an advance on her as he's shown interest in her in the past. Yeah, what should I do? I'm worried he's trying to make an advance. He's asked for his f- phone number, love, in exchange for keeping your sexual expertise at bay. Um, Why is a teacher <laughs> sharing a room with 15 students? Sorry? Why is a teacher true sharing a room with 15 students? Why is he blackmailing you Too into true. not sharing your sex capades nice. with the world? Thank you. And why is he flirting with your mate? Sack this man! Have you ever had sex in a room full of people? Um, Secretly? Well, it depends. Uh, are they all... Uh, is, does it count if they're all joining in? A family event, perhaps. For you. Honestly. <laughs> I have. Too soon to bring up my granddad's funeral. Oh, I know. That's, well, that's weird. Yeah. I don't know why Ghost hunting, full circle. Um, I... <laughs> I once did. I had sex with a boy that I was speaking to whilst all of his friends were asleep in the same room we were like all in a living room and i just thought this is supposed to be like really hot and it was for a second but it's highly inconvenient we couldn't i could i felt as though i couldn't even breathe like let alone maneuver well, so you we just did hold your breath yes that's i, I can't come unless i'm close to suffocation <laughs> No, oh, do you know that there's an actual thing? Have you seen that where people like try to hang themselves whilst wanking off? I think you've told me this before. Yeah, because it's like this, apparently you're suggesting the... an idea for a segment <laughs> in the podcast. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, 
George, I got this great <laughs> idea. Have you, you heard try it first, then I'll do it. <laughs> suffocate themselves. We could just like toss each other off as we do it. <laughs> no, but it's an actual thing because like apparently when you're on the brink of death, you're supposed to have the best orgasm of your life. So people do it, but then people have died trying it. Obviously, I mean, what yeah. do you expect? It's a dangerous game. Um, high risk, high reward. Yeah. But I think lock up the teacher, lock your legs, slag. Whoa, joking, joking. Boyfriend. Joking. I've done, people, I've done the though. same. In a room of 15 people. I maybe, mean, yeah, I can't, get, I can't get, judge. Get a room. Literally. Yeah. I can't judge. Like I said, I've done it. It was only in the room of about four other people. Um, like almost quadruple that. Yeah, that's a lot. And you can't really expect none of them to hear. Let's be honest. If you're shagging yeah. in a room of 15 people, someone's either going to join in, leave, or hear you. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, I feel like we gave great advice today. What we do you think? Did not. Never have we given oh. good advice. Okay. But advice was given. It was indeed. Um, and um, I guess all I've got to say next is if you enjoyed listening to this episode, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and follow us on our journey. <laughs> That's if you're watching on YouTube. If you're listening oh. on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, give yeah. us a rating, download Ooh. us, tell us how we did, <gasps> comment, subscription eight. I don't yes. know. Yes, um, please, if all those please, all of you follow us but... on your listening things. Audio listeners, you know how much we love it. Look at me. I'm talking. I'm talking to you right now, audio listeners. I'm not even looking at the camera. Fuck all them, audio listeners. Okay, please follow us. It means a lot, and it means that you will just really get on with us and if i ever see you in the street and you tell me that you follow and you're an audio listener i will get with you on the spot that was george speaking by the way not me um but yeah he will he will if you made it this far on youtube i would like you to comment this phrase <gasps> oh um oh we've never done this i like oh, that bit when max um no that was a rubbish yeah one. i think you should maybe um think this through shouldn't you maybe well, have a phrase in your head before you speak next time okay um what, we th- um, what, what about say? um wanking over ghosts difficult but fun difficult but rewarding i don't think that is something can you not put wanking? YouTube comment section, what though? about ghost hunting what's it called necrophiliac yeah necrophilia is having sex with dead people Maybe not well, then. Just that as a description. You could do... What about um, I saw George in my cemetery? If I saw George in my cemetery... Oh, no. If I saw you in my cemetery, George, I'd want to necrophilia. Nobody's writing that. How about you just write, <laughs> I made it to the end. Well done, me. I think that's good enough. Yeah. And then we'll know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so please... <laughs> If you would like to send in a dilemma, written one. And by the way, keep it short. I'm sorry, not too short, obviously. We like to read, but some of you are writing paragraphs. And quite Look frankly, I can't do it. Perfect length. That's a perfect length. Look I can't person. do it. Perfect length. <laughs> no matter what they say. Yeah. Despite public opinion and scientific <clears throat> information. Anyway, um, please send it to the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com. Or if you would like to send in a voice note that will be played through our definitely working mobile telephone device, then please send it to our Instagram at the useless hotline pod. And until next time, if you're shagging a ghost, make sure you text it back. Love you. Because of the ghosting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Bye. Mm.